Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do subscribe it. The link for the subscription is already available on the screen. Today's video we are going to talk about Node.js and Node version manager. A lot of people have asked me how to install Node.js and Node version manager, especially on Windows machine. Uh, as we know that uh, the Node version manager and Node.js uh, is commonly used on Linux based operating systems or Mac based operating systems. But especially in order to install it on Windows, uh, I'm making this video so that people who are using Windows machine as their dev environment for Node.js or Node version manager, you can definitely install as well as on Windows also. The node version manager on windows is a bit different from the node version manager which we use on linux or mac os uh, but still it solves the purpose of running multiple node.js installations and whatever the version we want to use for a specific project or for multiple things we can definitely do that so the video is all about installing node.js uh, the full-fledged uh, server-side uh, runtime uh, environment for JavaScript as well as the Node version manager to manage multiple versions of the Node.js on Windows machine. In order to install Node.js on Windows machine, we can just go on to google.com and search for Node.js. Once we search for Node.js, uh, the first link uh, that would be available in the search uh, criteria would be your Node.js.org. Uh, it is the official site from where we can download the node.js once you click on it actually uh, makes you move on to the website and uh, if you see by default it automatically tries to pick up the operating system and uh, gives you the installation options uh, there are two right now for me which is windows 64-bit uh, version uh, one is the lst uh, lts which is a long-term support 14.17.5 if you see if you can see on the screen and the another one is 16.6.2 which is the current and the latest features or the latest release so lts is a long-term support that is available by different companies where uh, you have a peace of mind uh, that this uh, particular uh, feature or uh, sorry this version uh, would be supported in terms of uh, updates or in terms of certain security updates or anything from the company for a considerable amount of time so whenever you try to install any software just go with the lts versions if it is available uh, by that company so let's uh, click on the 14.17.5 the lts or 16.6.2 for the video purposes i'm just going to demonstrate the 16.6.2 it's a current version so let's give it a try once you click on it will actually start downloading it uh, from the website onto your pc and once it is uh, downloaded uh, we are going to run this msi installer file so that the node version gets installed on our pc so it's just kind of a it's kind of a downloading it almost done yes so here we go so we can just open the file so it would start the installation for us node.js setup wizard and uh, this is typically like a kind of a setup wizard which you would have used uh, under various uh, uh, software for windows installation and it also follows the similar kind of uh, uh, setup wizard so just calculating the computing space requirements and uh, yeah, it's, it's taking a while. Okay, so yes, the setup wizard will install Node.js on computer. Next, uh, Node.js is licensed, some kind of a license. And yes, we accept the uh, terms in the license agreement. Next, uh, it typically specifies the uh, file folder path where the Node.js installation would be done. Uh, by default is this path. If you want to change, you can change it from here. We go with the by default path uh, there are certain kind of a uh, uh, stuff that is going to be installed uh, one is the node.js runtime environment npm the package manager node package manager online documentation for shortcuts and add to path so add to path is something where 
uh, when you want to run node from a terminal window or from a command prompt window you would be easily be able to like access those commands because the path has already been added to that so let's go with the next one it all looks good uh, if you want to do and automatically install the necessary tools or chocolatey or other script so let's not go into that let's just install the vanilla version of node.js okay next and then we say install so it will take a um, um, couple of minutes uh, would do all the necessary stuff and then would uh, see that the node is going to be installed uh, in the specified folder uh, as specified in the uh, uh, path window uh, during the setup process okay it's computing space requirements validating the install updating component registration removing files removing shortcuts just taking a while uh, to complete and finish up with the installation removing backup files copying new files still doing some uh, jobs to finish off the installation okay sounds good so it looks that the node.js uh, has been installed it says click finish button to exit the setup wizard and it has been successfully installed so if we finish it okay it looks the node.js is installed in order to verify that the node.js is installed we can open up a terminal window or we can open up a powershell uh, command prompt so once we open it up and the normal thing is to just run node and uh, press enter so if you see uh, this prompt, uh, definitely the node has been installed. So it says welcome to node.js version 16.6.2. So it looks all good. And if we press control C two times, so we are definitely going to exit from this, uh, this uh, node uh, terminal window. Okay, so that completes the installation of the node.js. Uh, now let's move on to the node version manager uh, how we can use to have multiple installations of node version manager and uh, we can definitely run multiple versions on the same machine uh, depending upon all the requirements of our project in order to install node version manager for windows uh, just search for node version manager for windows on google uh, the first link which you'll find for the github is uh, uh, definitely going to be for the node version manager uh, this is an open source uh, kind of a software that is uh, provided to manage different versions of node installations on windows machine so we can go on to that it uh, redirects you to the github page uh, you can go through the uh, different uh, readme stuff what exactly it is all about the prerequisites and anything and uh, it also provides you uh, the link for download the latest installer uh, it definitely comes with an uninstaller also so in case you really you don't really need the software you can uninstall it and save some space on your uh, pc uh, so let's click on the download the latest installer and uh, it moves you to the page where all the setup options are there uh, so primarily we have nvm no install no install zip checksum or setup zip so we definitely want a setup one we click on that starts downloading it over here and uh, there is an NVM uh, which was already downloaded by me so that's why it's creating a new version so once it is uh, downloaded you can just open up uh, uh, that particular file and it contains the necessary uh, NVM setup.exe double click on that to run it 
uh, once it starts running it it is going to ask you the accept the agreement which we are going to accept it uh, it would uh, check up for uh, the folder installation for nvm okay uh, we accept the by default folder of course you have a uh, privilege to change the path or wherever you want a particular path for the installation you can do that uh, click on the next and uh, it it is gonna ask you for the node.js symlink which is like exactly from where the node.js installations it will try to read or would uh, uh, install all those uh, node.js installations so by default it automatically picks up the path uh, this path was definitely the same path where we installed the node.js and then we move on to the next and we definitely say install so once we install it uh, the nvm setup uh, would automatically detect okay which version of node is already installed uh, do you want to uh, nvm to control this version yes we definitely want this uh, uh, version to be controlled as i've already done this installation so that's why it says node.js will be overwritten and all the contents will be lost do you really want to proceed it yes so it takes uh, uh, like less than a minute uh, to really complete that so we finish it off so just in order to check now whether the nvm has been installed or not i'm gonna run my terminal window in administrator mode and uh, okay so let's see if we run this command just in order to verify whether nvm was installed or not and if you see a list of options yes nvm has been installed and it is uh, definitely working uh, if I want to see the list available for all the node uh, JS that I can install uh, I can use this command nvm list available uh, click on that it would give you all the list of the node JS that can be uh, installed on this system with current LTS old stable or old unstable and if we just run the command nvm list so it uh, definitely gives me uh, three uh, options 16.6.2, uh, 16.6.0, 16 15.14.0 and if you see there is a star against 16.6.2 uh, because that's the by default version which we have installed and is being used. If I want to use 15.14.0 so I can say nvm use 15.14.0 and press enter now yes it's it started using version 15.14.0 though i've not installed it it was previously installed so that's why i was able to see it but if we really want to install any another version uh, which i can showcase nvm install and you can choose a list uh, which was available to you and you can install any particular version so let's say if i want to install 15.13.0 also so i can just say nvm install this and it would try to install that version also on our local machine uh, with the help of npm and other stuff it would do some necessary stuff and uh, uh, does the installation of the same version on your uh, local windows machine so it will take a little while not much uh, depending upon your uh, bandwidth your internet speed and your computer machine Oh, it's it looks good so now the that version is also installed so if we just want to see that nvm list so now you can see uh, version 15.13.0 is also listed and there is a star against 15.14.0 because that was the one which we made it by default so if we just want to use 16.6.2 uh, again uh, so we just use this command npm use this version and now this becomes the default version for uh, node.js on our uh, windows machine so this is how uh, the node version manager uh, definitely helps us to install multiple versions of node on our pc and it definitely helps to control different versions uh, sometimes we have certain legacy projects which need a particular version of node so you can definitely use a node version uh, let's say an older one or a legacy one which we really want to use and let's say you're going to work for a newer project which uses the latest version of the node so you definitely want multiple installations based upon the project whatever you want to work with nvm can help you to do so and nvm can also help you to work with those projects i hope guys uh, this definitely makes sense to you uh, people who have not 
used node version manager on windows or node.js on windows uh, would definitely find this video useful for them uh, i'll be definitely back with another video on node.js uh, how to work with node.js or certain other concepts as i have received some feedback from uh, my subscribers uh, till then uh, wish you a very best of luck uh, a very good morning or good afternoon or good night to all the people around the world or all the subscribers uh, once again do subscribe uh, to my channel if you have not done it and uh, do de do uh, definitely let me know about the videos what you would like to uh, watch in the coming times uh, by commenting it on this video or uh, by sending me an email I'll definitely try to create the videos on the concepts or uh, uh, which you really want to learn or you really want to try out. Thank you once again. Hope to see you in the next video.